Welcome to RSNA 2017. I would like to introduce you to the Cinegraph Pristina. Cinegraph Pristina was designed by a woman for a woman, uh, taking into account that patients had specific needs when having a mammogram, as well as a technologist and the radiologist. From the patient side of it, we've created very round corners, a thinner image receptor, um, we've gotten rid of the hand grips, and we now have a hand rail. So having that patient being more relaxed during that uh, imaging time. For a technologist, we have a larger workspace in the back. We've also introduced Duetta. Christina Duetta is a duet between the patient and the technologist. It is allowing that technologist and patient to both be in control of the compression. As a technologist, I'm going to position that patient's breast, I'm going to anchor it, and then I'm going to allow that patient to apply additional compression to her breast. That patient can release, but will never release from what the technologist has already anchored. Our approach to Tomo is that we're using a 25 degree angle sweep. Reason we chose 25 degrees, we want to preserve small objects as well as being able to separate that breast tissue. Uh, the shorter the angle, uh, you do not see, you see small objects, but do not have great separation of tissue. As compared to a larger angle, you would have that patient in compression longer. The patient will roughly be compressed for about six seconds, having the exam done. The other benefit of our system, the imaging chain stays consistent throughout. We have a universal grid, which is used in 2D as well as 3D, and we'll be um, also moving into our contrast enhanced Cinebrite HD, as well as um, into biopsy. So this is our Cinoiris workstation. With the Cinoiris workstation, it allows you to have either a hardware uh, workstation or a software solution, or these images can be uh, read at supported PAX workstations as well. Just showing you a traditional hanging protocol, showing you um, 2D imaging as well as our volume preview imaging. Uh, we're showing your, the planes. Uh, what I want to be able to show you here is the ability to see these microcalcifications in what we call our 2D synthesized view and how well they look as a comparison to what would be the traditional 2D. Our synthesized view is a um, taking those nine projections and creating that raw data into create a volume preview. The volume preview can be a replacement to your 2D imaging um, as an approved protocol. So on the Cinoiris, what I am showing here is the ability for the Cinograph Pristina to take the guesswork out of the uh, technique for the technologist as they are imaging implants. This patient here has three years of studies, the bottom being um, in 2015. And just showing you the progression of the um, increase of image quality. With Pristina, the technologist is um, not selecting a technique, the machine is selecting that technique and it is um, penetrating through the implant uh, much better than uh, we did in prior years. This is a great evidence of well of with Pristina and its design, how we're able to get more breast tissue um, as compared to previous years with other uh, systems. So with Cinoiris, a few of the tools I would like to show you to help navigate the radiologist. This is my volume preview, but we actually have the enhanced volume preview. Enhanced volume preview, is a partnership with ICAD where they're actually CADing each one of the planes to um, denote any architectural distortion, asymmetries, or densities within the breast. What you will see here, here's my typical 2D um, image. Here I have my uh, enhanced volume preview. You see an enhancement here. I can quickly navigate to that specific area on my plane and I'm able to see that architectural distortion and abnormality within the breast. I could also do what's called a navigate, and it allows me to overlie my planes directly on the volume preview, and I can take a look at that specific area as well, or any other area within the breast. So most recently on the Cinegraph Pristina, we now have what is called Cinebrite HD. Cinebrite HD is a contrast enhanced spectral mammography exam that can be performed on the Pristina. It is an exam that is 
very similar to a diagnostic mammogram, but we are injecting contrast um, in the patient and then uh, doing a routine four view exam and then we're receiving our low energy and recombined um, studies. Where is this a benefit? Um, inconclusive mammogram, inconclusive ultrasound. Patient is needing something additional. Uh, sensitivity specificity with contrast enhanced is very similar to MR. So what we want to do is this patient is has an area of interest, but we want to see if there's a, any other invasion within the breast. I'm able to look at that low energy with the recombine, and I'm able to demonstrate, yes, the patient did have a lesion here, but she also has some stellite lesions here. This can change surgical planning for that patient uh, and what would have been her treatment plan. So our center iris workstation um, was built to help minimize and maximize uh, the time of the radiology with workflow efficiencies. I have a typical hanging protocol here. As I'm stepping through, I'm able to look at each one of the views as I would hang, um, have on a hanging protocol. Here I am at the um, volume preview, which is actually our enhanced volume preview, this being our volume preview um, without the 3D CAD enhancement. A radiologist can quickly navigate to a region of interest in his plane or slab. This being a plane, which is a one millimeter slice thickness, I'm able to look at that region of interest. Or I could even have a 10 millimeter slice thickness, which is going to be um, with a 50% overlay looking through the breast, um, giving you some workflow efficiencies by utilizing the the slab. I also have the ability to inspect over a specific area where I can look at a specific region of interest and these are really my planes that are overlying um, on the volume preview image. So let me also show you our enhanced volume preview. This is a collaboration with ICAD. We're going uh, doing an analysis through the planes. It's actually truly 3D CAD and it's giving me a blending or a blushing of areas in the breast I would need to look at. I can use my inspect tool to quickly look and navigate through. I can do that anywhere within the breast. Or I could go through my slabs and or my planes evaluating the breast. So with Cinegraph uh, Pristina, we have, over a 12-month period, uh, added a lot of new um, approvals through the FDA. We started out with 2D mammography, then 3D mammography approval. Uh, we have our contrast-enhanced spectral mammography, which I will show you, as well as I already showed you um, Duetta. So in 12 months, a lot of approvals on the system for um, advancements on one platform. So contrast enhanced spectral mammography uh, can be done very easily on a MAMO system, the Pristina, and it's injecting the patient and then giving you a low energy recombined um, images that can be uh, looked at on the Ceno Iris or any PAX workstation. So the benefit is being able to see that contrast, those stellate lesions, um, in this case, inconclusive mammogram with an inconclusive um, ultrasound, but prior to surgical planning, that surgical planning would change with this patient not having only just the one lesion, but also the multiple stellate lesions. So this can be performed on the Cenograph Pristina, uh, allowing you for a very quick and rapid diagnosis on your patient.